Hello, it's Nathan, and welcome back to Spirit Fall. Today, I am playing with the bow. If you haven't already, check out my previous episodes. I play the hammer, the hammer axe, and the gauntlets. Uh, but now we are on the bow. It's looking pretty nice. We'll see how this goes. Got a lot of movement. A lot of precise damage. We'll see how this goes. Now, I've already completed a run once. I actually did it with the gauntlets. Um, <clears throat> check it out if you haven't already. Um, and I'll have a link of this game on the store page in the description of this video. So please check it out. This game is extremely fun. Probably one of my more favorite ones this year. Easily. Uh, so let's go. Let's see how this goes. I have to get used to the jumping because I don't want to overextend and jump into some like, uh, you know, enemy's path. Uh, your bolt is a flamethrower that damages enemies and inflicts burn for five seconds. Closer enemies receive more hits. That'd be kind of nice. So we have an alternate uh, since we're range heavy. Might have be nice to have like a melee. After your air jump, gain increased cooldown speed until you land or touch a wall. And then our launcher, of course, does the burn. So let's do, let's do that. I kind of like that idea. Nice. Can I like, no. So it's just forward. That's fine. So we can get more dust. We can get max health or we can get a relic. We can actually get two. look there's one of those um things if if you guys watched me previously um it's like hollowed ground you can heal and you get more dust now I'm trying to think of the path i want to take here what i'm thinking because it looks like there might be a rift right there with the fire on the top right so we might give that a go Let's go with that. Let's do it. No time like the present. Yeah, I'll have to get used to... Okay. I do like you can angle the attacks. Wow, I was kind of spamming that. Come here. get more of these guys. Ooh. Enemies you slay in under five seconds reward pl plus 20% dust and essence. I didn't see what the other thing did. Uh-oh. Can I like press it? Well, we'll see what if I can hit him. Jeez. straight up with a normal attack. Plus 35 max health, 42% shield damage. Is there a way to see what I have? Yeah. Doesn't do anything extra. Okay. That's fair. Let's get Sharbora. I think they benefit sometimes with range, but I could be wrong. I haven't really picked her too much for them. the flamethrower was a little bigger or something. Maybe directional. Alright, let's see what we get. Your attack deals more damage. Whenever whenever you attack, you are poised. Posing attack deals minus 25% damage and will not interrupt your actions. When you open a relic chest, restore some health. When you're hit, deal damage. When you're hit, deal damage to nearby enemies in a small radius. So this guy is all about getting hit. Um, I'm not sure if I like any of these. Let's just do that one. 
We might be skipping Charbora. All right, I'm going to go to the right here and hope for a rift. Nice. That's a lot of health. Oh, and this thing. Not too bad. Health and 50 dust. Uh, we're going to go to the store. I can't buy anything, but... So far, the run, kind of shaky. But we're going to go over here. Interesting, it's like a command grab. I wonder if that's what that means. It's like a, a not a sweet spot. It's a, uh, if you hit it, it'll grab the enemy. Not sure though. I do like jumping and holding the bow. That's super fun, like the charge. Your dash freezes, freezing launcher. Let's do that. You know, I like my frost. Uh, we didn't get a rift. No, we might get one once we do this. The, the grabbing of the side attack is interesting, that's for sure. Oh, come on, really? Let me attack straight up. You definitely have to be more precise with this thing, which makes sense. I like that I can dash through my charge attack. Come on. Flaming leap, go for yourself in flames and rocket your body towards an enemy. Ah, right, the assist. This one's okay. It's not my favorite assist. It's like Zetterburn's up special if you've played Rivals of Ether. So far, I'm not getting a lot of skills that I like, but we are getting this, which I was hoping. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Well, this is kind of... I'd say easy, but he is... He will kill himself if he does that off the top, the explosion. There we go. <laughs> nice! I did him twice. Cool. We can do our freezing launcher, scorching bolt a little more damage. I feel like we're going to be using that a bit. Might as well upgrade it. Get some more dust. Hopefully some more blessings at the boss. The boss store, rather. I don't really need to heal on this fight, but it doesn't hurt. Hmm, that one's interesting, dude. When it's above a... One and a half. Deal area damage and inflicts burn for every two seconds. We'll do Scorching Dash. Not too bad. I used it on my run that I completed, so can't be that bad. Ah, come on.
Ah, wanted a dash for that. Okay, she got me with the back hit. Kind of my fault. Usually I can get her before she gets a second shield. I mean a third shield, rather. Oh, man, this is rough. Hey, she's dead. Not too bad for essence. We get a heal. Practically full health. We're looking good. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, ricochet. Your launcher's projectile bounce off walls. Your launcher's projectiles are larger in size and deal slightly increased knockback. I don't like that. Let's do it. Can we do it like here? <laughs> nice. Okay, so we have... Mr. Fire, we got Frost. You know I like my Frost. Looks like we can get a Rift up there. Playing it safe. I do like that it like slows down and it hits them like twice. It's kind of cool. There we go. This is what I was wanting. Nice. All right. I'm gonna kind of keep with the same theme here. That way the benefit. From oh come on, that was cheap. That was cheap. Wow. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, they get whoa! Hey, you guys want my beans? Come on, I thought I was getting away from the bomb. Oh boy, no. Ooh, I got greedy with that. He's gonna hit me. Get away from that. Flaming leap. Don't like it. Enemies inflicted with Fice X burn will combust, dealing area damage. Let's do it. Could probably heal. We'll probably go here and then the store. I do like the icicle range. Too bad it's not upgraded. That one's kind of nice too. I'm mean, gonna kind of play the the waiting game here with the assist. Let's go here and get healed. <laughs> See, awesome. Show you guys. Kind of weird they're exploding on the ceiling. Usually it's not that bad. But that is a good amount of damage. Thinking about it, probably wouldn't have taken the fire for the range. 
if it gives me a chance to replace it, I probably will. That one I've been getting it inflicts shards every time I hit someone with frost on my normal attack. You guys will see. Um, it'll be kind of nice. We're going to actually do the luminous gem. See, little ice shards come out. They pierce enemies. guy out of there not too bad now that I'm getting more upgrades for the things I want all right what are we upgrading hmm let's see this one all right we're gonna go left get the bear hopefully we get another rift we're just going to camp up here. I don't know if the one guy can even get up here. Oh, come on. He got me. Oh, that was interesting. I've never seen him do that before. Nice. Good old splat damage. Get away from me! Okay. That's kind of nice. Let's do it! Rift. I like that you can tell where they are now. Or now, you know, I can tell where they're at now, rather. The bows so far has been the easiest to do these. <laughs> that was quick. Ooh, 110 does. Oh yeah, I have that thing. More damage to the freeze launcher. Don't mind if I do. All right, let's heal. Get some frosty boy. I like that. I like that. Let's get to see what this is. Ooh, we get the increased movement speed. And it's rare. Wee. Nice. Boss time. We'll see how this one goes. Oh, come on, really? Oh, man, that guy can get me wherever he wants. Ah, oh, I was trying to get out of the path. Didn't work out. Man, I'm being kind of aggressive, and I'm going to die for it. Bow guy is definitely my least favorite to deal with.
I do like that you can knock him out. Oh no! I didn't mean to do that. Oh, get out of there! Mac oh, well, I was gonna try to keep the other guy alive longer. Because they're easier to deal with. Oh no! I got greedy! I got greedy! Man. That's too bad. <sighs> kind of frustrated about that one. Um, got the altar tribute. Might as well just get it. It's one. Doesn't really do anything I like. You can like use their health, sacrifice it so you get some favors. And then we didn't get anything there. I thought I got more scrolls. Did I not? I guess I got more of these things? You have three. Bouncing on a stun enemy using hop also deals five damage and resets your dash. I haven't really figured out how to hop. I don't mind that one. Let's do that. It's only one. Non-boss enemies with under 10% health are slain instantly if you wall splat them. Might as well. All right, anything else that can give me like one? This one. Your essence multiplier is preserved for plus one seconds without hitting enemies for starting to decay during combat. Let's do it. Okay. We're actually gonna end it there. If I do this again, I might get too long and would have to call it quits anyway. I like the bow. It's hard to say because I didn't get too far and I'd like to see what the upgrade would have been if I beat that boss. I should have. I'm so disappointed in myself. It's such an easy fight after you get to one person. Um, so we'll see. So far I actually do like the gauntlets. They're probably my second favorite. And then the battle hammer axe is my absolute favorite. The hitbox on it is huge. Um, it's got like attacks that you kind of like would know would like when you go left, it goes left, it goes right. It's very straightforward. Um, doesn't do anything too fancy. And then of course the gauntlets. They're also straightforward, but they do have some interesting, um, like this type of attack. So it's not like the best against bosses. But I do like that it, the fists launch forward. Covers a lot of ground. Don't use that one too much. In the lab, I just got an achievement. <laughs> uh, the Nair attacks, I definitely don't do enough. As you can see, it kind of like... Pretty cool. I'd be curious what the devs think of each weapon. I don't really want them to change it too oft too much. I, I actually feel like they're in a good spot because uh, each one benefits on different types of builds. If anything, I'd want them to see or look at the blessings because the ones that are on hit, unless I get something beneficial like a way to heal myself or like mitigate that damage or have more things like a shield where it triggers the on hit, I just don't like it. It's not really a good play style where you're resetting cooldowns every time you're getting hit. You need something to be constantly healing you to feel good. It's a roguelite. Um, the whole point is surviving as long as possible and getting hurt really affects uh, the run. Um, I mean, I get a lot of dust. There's a lot of chances for shops. So maybe that is a certain play style. Maybe someone can prove me wrong. Maybe it's a really strong, powerful build, but there definitely should be more reward than there is now, in my opinion. Maybe like a Berserker type thing where the more damage you're taking, the more damage you'll do. So you kind of have to have that healthy balance. Um, so I feel like the straightforward ones, like the Frost and everything, 
they just benefit because they they slow down enemies like who wouldn't want to do that that's the whole point of this game is avoiding it so if you could slow enemies down why not do it um so that's my opinion curious what you guys think the game will have been out for a while uh if you guys have any kind of tactics strategy whatever tips for me let me know i'd be curious to see what you think but anyway this is nathan Thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. I will see you.